Got all my kit laid out the night before and I am ready for the Leicester Run For All 10K. by the one hour paces at mile one and then me going past the 55 minute paces at about mile four. <laughs> 200 meters here. So that's just over the finish line. Oh. Mark G flying finish there. Always felt good. Oh, oh God, I need to catch my breath. Oh, far away. Catch up with you in a minute. We just finished the Leicester 10K in barefoot shoes. It was a good race. I was really worried. I've been nursing an old injury behind my right knee and I was really cautious. I haven't done any running for well over a week. I had to stop my marathon training plan because yes, I made the ballot to the London Marathon on the 23rd of April 2023. So I'm supposed to be training for that to miss out week three completely because of that niggle behind my right knee. So I was really cautious starting off on this race. I've been doing yoga every day to try and stretch out my hip because I think that's where the problem lies, even though the issue is behind my right knee. I think the cause is my right hip being so tight. So yeah, I've been doing loads of stretching, loads of yoga every morning, and it looks like it's paid off because <sighs> fantastic race. Wasn't super quick because I was really cautious on that first mile. Just to put it into perspective, my first mile I did in nine minutes 33. My last mile I did in 7.45. So even though it looks like I did a negative split, which I did, it wasn't intentional at all. I just was really, really cautious that I didn't want my knee to blow up and I couldn't finish the race or put me out of training for ages. So yeah, this is part of the lead up to the London Marathon. So this is a 10K. There'll be a half marathon in February, so in exactly a month's time. Then nothing through March, going to concentrate on my training completely. And then got the marathon in April, and then an ultra marathon later, three weeks later in May. So yeah, four races coming up. Well, three more now after this one. But yeah, I'm really, really happy, super happy that everything held out. And the barefoot shoes I ran in, colour coordinated with my nice blue outfit, is the Merrill Vapor Glove 4. So, I'm also being a bit of a Nike fanboy today because I've got the Nike calf sleeves on, a uh, Nike running top, and also Nike, Nike, Nike shorts. So, yeah, couldn't be helped, just the way it worked out. Full of coordinated. So yeah, anyway, I had a fantastic race. It all went really, really well. If I hadn't been quite so cautious on that first mile, obviously I'd have got a much quicker time but today was about making it to the end and injury prevention rather than out and out speed so still really happy with the result I managed to beat the 10k time that I set in June last year in barefoot shoes so yeah all all good happy days what's everybody training for everybody got any plans beating any PBs I'll hopefully going to beat my marathon time set in 2019 which was four hours 37 minutes 
uh, and it was a fantastic time, just really, really, wasn't too concerned about the time, was, would have loved to have got below four hours, but I realised from literally the first kilometre in, it wasn't going to happen, you're running through a wave of 40,000 people, and uh, yeah, it was uh, a bit overwhelming, and most people set out too fast on their marathon and then blow up, I set out too slow because I was just running behind people, I didn't want to barge past people and be Mr. Inconsiderate, but anyway, yeah, fingers crossed, gonna beat that 4 hour 37 time in barefoot shoes, so throwing around some ideas in my head and uh, I think the choices of the ones I've got at the minute for the marathon, road marathon, will be either the Merrill Vape Glove 4, as worn today, really, really comfortable, beautiful barefoot shoes, great grip, lovely minimal feel, or the Vibram Five Finger V Run. Again, fantastic shoes, love them, completely different feel, uh, more, more padding in the base of those than these ones. These are true barefoot stylies. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. Stay tuned, please remember to like the video and subscribe and I'll catch you all again soon if you've got any races coming up hope you have a fantastic race stay safe injury free fingers crossed and I'll catch you all again soon